the guy that can score and working on a number of double figure scoring games so far this year 11 in a row Billy and here's Thomas Hill just inside the three-point line and, and so Jim back in, back in 1956 San Francisco that won back-to-back -back, beat Iowa in that final game the great fabulous five teams of Iowa in 55 and 56 Thomas I say missed the jumper street play up to Smith both teams doing a great job on the defensive boards. No putbacks at all today. Matter of fact, not, not much of anything here today. And as I said at the top of the show, Tom Davis's job to keep his team tight to start of the game for the Duke. Webb turn around with Parks right in his face. Offensive rebound by Winters. Right back to Street. There's two solid rebounds on the offensive board. Street is really great at it. Really behind the back to Thomas Hill. In traffic. Saw points. Street has all four of Iowa's points. Key thing there was the experience of Thomas Hill on that play. Just a good, smart ball player. Took his time, didn't rush the shot, so he had a soft touch inside. Winners slicing through the lane and setting up street. Collins in this game, obviously, is to go ahead and attack on the perimeter with the jump shot. And a near steal, but Hurley set up for the three in the corner. One of an opportunity to come down for an easy setup. The 1-3-1 one -one zone. AC Earl down on the baseline. Nice rotation there. Boy, great passing around. defense for Iowa to, to handle Duke because with Collins in the game, you've got Collins and you've got Hurley and you've got Clark, three guys that can make that shot on the perimeter. Murray scores on the transition basket for Iowa, 12-8 Duke. Marty Clark's given his team some solid minutes lately. A pass. That time, no tried space. to get it inside the line. Collins picks up the loose ball. Hurley tries another one. Quick release. Station now for a score to Bob one pass two passes reverse it Bobby Hurley in the corner not even visible originally on the screen hits for the and Street has another rebound four rebounds to this point good bounce back. pass back door to Barnes and Iowa with another rebound Jim what's interesting we talked about AC Earl too and we got a rebounding both both Street and Winners have captured more rebounds in a given game than has A.C. Earl, whose high all-time is just 13. Barnes yes. with a jumper. Iowa on a six-point run to cut within one, the Duke lead. There's the pressure. And the steal by Barnes. He'll challenge Clark off the glass. And Iowa's retrieved by Clark. Wants to take Clark. it right to the hole. Oh, Earl. <laughs> you can forecast that yeah, one. You did. Smith. See, you can't. Jim Nance and Billy Packer witnessing Iowa. It's a lot of trouble. Not that they've turned the ball over, but it's taken them out of their offense. They're wasting the time getting it up court and then not setting up. Iowa's lone starter on the floor is Smith. Winters, Webb, Bartles, and looking Bill on the floor with them. If a team's going to press like that, you have to make them pay for that with some easy baskets. Duke not doing it. It's allowing only 36.7 from the opponent. And uh, Duke's numbers today, 32%. Remember, they started on the kick and would love to play in this game. And I'll tell you why. He's the guy that can shoot that short perimeter jumper against the press. Where are they racing? Smith after him. Nice. Good defense by Cherokee Park. Stepping outside. Reach in. Grant Hill really got that steal started. Hurley lobs it to Thomas Hill. Oh, yes, it is. It will be in Las Vegas. Not only Harrington against Ryder, but Thompson against Massimino. The two coaches. 120 to go in the first half. There's the 1 2 2 zone. Watch the man in the middle, Winners. Watch where he goes when the ball passes down to a wing. There he goes, all the way to the side. He came from the top of the key, all the way to the... In a game of runs, Jim. 
There again, forcing down the right-hand side. You see how it's really throwing Iowa off. The main run was 14 unanswered by Iowa. And here's the basket inside. <laughs> Wendell slams it. As he went over Grand Hill, who was waiting, waiting for the block. Powerful leaper is winners. Smith one-on-one, -on -one and Smith's asking for it. Looks like Duke trying to set up a little curl move here for Grand Hill or Thomas Hill. There it is, Thomas Hill. Hill drives in the paint. Ties it. Ties it at 28. Well, Duke was tied at Iowa 28, Duke 28. And Andrea Joyce will be alone at halftime. 28 all, and the field goal percentage pretty even. Well, it's even, Jim, but Duke is shooting 54% on the year and only 40% now, so Iowa getting there. And big rebounding edge to the Hawkeyes, who lead the nation in rebound margin. Turnovers, Iowa still, that's, that's low for both teams. It is, and Duke had nine points off of turnovers. Street, uh, leading score for Iowa. Hurley, two blocks. Well, I, I think that uh, that stat is way out of line. They, they show Iowa for only three blocks as a team. Good rebound by Parks. Here's the lob to Hill. Barnes gets it back on the wing. That would have tied it. Follows his miss. Tip up try by Street and Park secures another rebound. Well, Cherokee did not score in the first half, but he's really doing a job defensively and on the board. What a reverse dribble by Bobby Hurl. Lang underneath. And a foul. And a foul. Alley oop. Grand Hill all the way. Street didn't turn his head. See the ball. And here's a move that Hurley keeps right on going down the lane. I think he surprised A.C. Earl. In fact, he took it right to him and laying on the follow-up. At the line, eight in Minnesota. Inbound they come to. Great. And he's rejected. No foul. That surprised me. Hurley on the drive. Follow-up by Thomas Hill. To Sportsman of the Year. And look at him among active coaches in the NCAA tournament. 33 and 7 is his record. And did he? Duke could take advantage of that particular switch. Thomas Hill will fire the three. Five point. The scoring patterns. Just put the ball on the boards and go get it. They score so well off it. There's Barnes. Barnes could have tied it. Murray on the follow does. Another offensive rebound. Yep. Parks uh, is back in for Clark. 40-40. We near the midway point of the second half. Well, you gave that stat, Jim, of what Duke had done, the blaze out in the second half against their previous opponents. That was in the first five minutes. Right. They did go 8-2 here. But Iowa has done something in both halves that are critical when you play on the road, and that is Duke back in front. Glasper. Oh, that's way off. And rebound by Grant Hill. Up ahead to Lang. Take it in. Lang. Two straight baskets. Winters is in for Iowa, number 23, and Looking Bill will come in on the next whistle. Hill from the free throw line. Uh, having lost last year to Carolina, March the 4th of 90, and 77 straight against non-ACC opponents. They struck 7-0 run to match its largest lead of the game. It was 15-8 in the first half. The last time they were up 7, and then Iowa went on a 14-point tear. Underneath, somehow it dropped. That was winner yesterday. Yeah, but what Grant has got to do if he's going to use that maneuver is get out of the way because the ball comes back and hits him. Oh, on the break. Webb coming after him. And he got the rejection. Parks follows, however. Rejection by Hill, who has just been hit with his second foul. And a three, no good by Barnes. Lang comes out with it for Duke on the outlet to Hurley out of his hand. Bobby Early better be careful. He threw the ball down on the floor. Could have picked up a tee. Now watch this. See, that, that is continuous motion. It should have counted as a basket. Six minutes remaining. 49-47 Duke. Starting to use some clock and save Bobby Hurley from handling all the, the ball all the time. Which putting it in Grant Hill's hands. Park. Nice. Nice move. He worked all a little far outside for Earl. Barnes misses, and Hill with the rebound. He's got to look long. They can get a basket here. Three on two. 
Thomas Hill. Jim, what made that? He has to be able to show you he can hit that downtown jumper the way Michael can. And then the other parts of his game are pretty solid. You see him as a star in the NBA? Oh, without question. Yeah, no doubt. Street. Oh. oh. oh they got from the free throw line when they needed it. They've made their last six. The dangerous pass about the early through cross court. Kenny Murray right out there. Lang on the drive. He'll challenge. Duke is going to return to the Final Four. It's Lang and Parks that have to do the job, and there's Lang with another huge play. Parks has had a number of them. He, he shocked A.C. Earl by taking it right to him. Dunk right on him. Now remember, Antonio had an air ball. 11-point lead under two minutes to go. This. And Lang gets the long rebound. See Duke not looking to break here. And they'll take off some pot. Oh, a foul away from the ball. Smith just pushed early. Well, right at the Duke pitch. Granville doesn't like it either. He comes in. To Mike Krzyzewski knows it. You'll see right here, these two have been jawing with each other for quite some time. Now you'll see them. They're walking up the sidelines. Hurley getting a little best of it, and then all of a sudden Smith gives him the push, and that's not going to...